It's been five days since we checked on the frame of brood that had been added to the Langstroth hive in our efforts to try to get a queen for that hive. And when I pulled that frame, I found that there were multiple queen cells on it. And so I divided those cells, put some back into that Langstroth hive, put some into a nucleus colony in hopes of starting a second Langstroth hive. And I put the frame, the original Layens frame, with some remaining queen cells into this Layens swarm trap, along with some bees to kind of help care for those cells and the queen when she emerges. And since that was five days ago, at this point, those queens should have emerged. So we should have virgin queens. It would probably be a little early for their mating flights. So I'm expecting that we will have virgin queens inside of these boxes. Now, I probably am a little late to catch them just as they're emerging. So at this point, there may be just one virgin queen, assuming that the first one that came out went around and eliminated her rivals. But we're gonna check on these and check on the state of those queens, see if they emerge successfully, see if we have a virgin queen in here. So let's get into it and see what we find. Now there aren't many bees, but I'm hoping that I didn't leave them with too few bees to be able to tend to that queen. Got a few on there. All right, one more frame, then we'll be onto our brood frame in the moment of truth. I'll just push this one out of the way. There's not a whole lot on it. We still have a queen cell on there. Still got some brood on there. Yep, queen cell is opened. Got some bee bread on there. I just recently did a short video talking about bee bread because someone pointed out that I mention it, but I never really point out what it is. See some bees with their heads in the cells and the nectar. Our queen might be on the side here. I would think it would be a little early for her to have gone on a mating flight, but I could be wrong. Let me take another look. See a bunch of bees down here at the corner. Some very young, fuzzy bees on here. Well, I don't know. I suspect I'm not seeing her in this little group down here, but possible that she's kind of down in the middle of that little bunch. Not seeing any bees surrounding and feeding a queen, though. I wouldn't think she could elude me that easily since there's not that many bees in here in the first place. One more cell off there to the left, but it may be a failed cell. Well, I don't know, I think I'm kind of stumped. Uh, now that I put these frames back in here, the bees are running back to that frame. So it's possible she's in there and I just absolutely did not see her. At this point, we'll kind of let them do their thing. I couldn't find the queen here, but the good news that we got is that uh, those cells seem to have been opened from the end, which means the queen emerged. So it's just a matter of whether she will get mated. And I don't know, my eyes are failing me, I guess. I did not see her, but I'm pretty confident that she must be in there. So we'll just let things go for a while. It's not uh, unheard of that I just don't see a queen. We'll see what happens with them. I was hoping to absolutely find a queen in here, potentially get her inside of a cage, and go through the process of combining this with a split from the mother colony. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that today without finding that queen for sure. Maybe in a couple of weeks we'll find a new queen or evidence of a queen in here. So now we check on this nucleus colony, which got some of the donor cells from that frame. And our hunt for the queen in the Layen's box wasn't very successful. Let, let's see if we have better success in here. There has been very little activity at the entrance here, which 
isn't terribly surprising. The hive that these bees came from is the Langstroth hive, which is right behind me. So any active foragers at that time would have returned back there. I would like to see some foragers coming out now. Um, I'm hoping the bees that were in here didn't just abandon the hive, but we'll see what happened. Ah, oh, we got bees in there. When we pulled this from that other hive, they had one frame that was almost completely full of nectar and some capped honey, and I can see capped honey down through here. And then we had the second frame that we put our queen cells on. It was an empty frame, and I just added those queen cells. So let's get right to the meat of the matter and uh, pull this frame and look to see the status of those cells. Okay. So this biggest queen cell was opened up from the end. And that tells me that the queen emerged and the cell wasn't just opened up and torn apart. Now the cell that was next to it is completely gone. It may have fallen off, but it looks like they cleaned it up. And the cell next to that is completely cleaned up. So uh, I'm guessing the queen emerged from this very first cell and uh, then probably eliminated those others. And the bees have cleaned up those cells. So now we'll do a quick check through here and see if we can spot a virgin queen in this hive. I'm not seeing her on this frame. Gonna pull kind of gently here because this frame is really built out with honey. I don't want to tear things apart and make a big mess in here. And especially if we have a virgin queen in here, I don't want to harm her by uh, spilling honey all over her. I can feel the weight of this frame. My goodness. I should have just left that first frame out to give me some space to work. But... So you can see all the honey that's on there. I'm not seeing a queen there. She may be at the bottom of the box there. I think I'll go ahead and pull this first frame back out and give a little room to work. I see bees licking up a little spilled honey. Don't see a queen down there. This next frame was just empty foundation, but they're building out wax on it. We actually have more bees on this next frame, which was already built out. We've got a little bit of honey in there, some nectar throughout the rest of it. Oh, I see her. I don't really need to catch her, actually. I just like to be able to see her. this frame. Yeah, there she is. And she just ran back under those other frames. So she's a little dark queen. Um, I'm afraid I probably won't get her on camera, but uh, I do have the good news to share that we have successfully made a queen in here. And right now she's a virgin queen. She has not gone out and gotten mated. And I know that just by the timing. It takes about three days after they emerge in order for the uh, queen's wings to mature enough for them to go on their mating flight. And so I did not expect they would have gone on their mating flights yet. And besides all that, when I spotted her in there, she was basically sprinting back underneath the other frames to get out of the light. That's pretty characteristic of a new queen, a virgin queen, that they move very quickly. I'm guessing maybe that's to help them avoid rival queens that are trying to kill them or something. But for whatever reason, uh, they move quickly and she certainly was. So very happy to have checked in here, seen that they have a queen assuming that she gets mated successfully. Uh, we are on our way to this second colony in the Langstroth hives getting started successfully. So that's good news. So far, I'm one for two in spotting the new queens. Let's take a look at the other hive. So now here we are at the main Langstroth hive, and this is the one that we've been working hard to try to 
make a viable colony through different methods. Had a couple setbacks, but uh, now with those queen cells that we added in here, I'm hoping we'll have as much success here as we had in the nucleus colony. So let's see how they're doing. Got bees coming out the top. That's a nice sign that we've got good population going on in here still, which the population was never really a concern in this one because of the process we went through of combining them with a swarm after we'd already kind of built up some population with a first frame of brood. But now we just need to get them a queen after our last queen literally flew the coop. So here's our frame over here that had the queen cells on it. We'll go ahead and pull this and see what we find. And I don't think I will go through this whole hive looking for the queen. Um, I'm mainly just going to look and see if those queen cells appear that they have been opened up successfully, meaning that uh, the cell was open from the end as it would have been if the queen emerged as opposed to just being open from the side and dismantled. Well, the queen cells are gone. So these bees have already cleaned them up however they were opened. I can see the remnants of one there, but not enough to tell me how it was opened. So we might take a little time and look through here after all and see if I can spot a queen. Because otherwise I have no way of knowing about their success. It's very possible that uh, all of those cells failed. And I think what I'll do is work my way back most of the population of the bees has been on this end that's towards me. So if I pull a frame out from this other end, I'll give myself some space to work. Not seeing her yet. These are just storing up some nectar and some pollen in here. And there we've got an empty frame that uh, they're just starting to build out a little bit, not much. Yeah, we're getting into a frame that they've got a little more construction going on. Got a little bit of comb built up across the bars here. And they're building this out thick because the frames next to them are not built out. Storing up a lot of nectar in there. More bees, not yet seeing a queen. Now we're gonna, our population's gonna start going up from here as we move towards me. Well, they have built queen cups here and there's some drone cells. And I'm hoping that doesn't indicate to me that we have a laying worker in here. we got a pretty nice looking queen cell on here, but it's not capped. There's a bee working inside of it, but without a queen, they would have no hope of being able to produce a queen. So that is odd. Unless we had queens this whole time, but I'm not sure why they would be making a queen cell already if that was the case. Unless something was wrong with her. That is strange. And I'll give you a look to see what I was seeing. So on that frame, right up here, they've got a pretty decent looking queen cell and uh, several 
drone cells on there, bumped out there. But I should say it's a queen cup. There's no pupa in it. They can only make an emergency queen if they have an egg to work with, which that frame would not have had any brood on it to start. Or they can make a supersedure cell if they have a queen to lay an egg. So it's possible they might actually have a queen. Either uh, they successfully made a queen from the last frame of brood we gave them and I just did not realize that. Or our flyaway queen may have come back, but for some reason they may be trying to supersede her. Worker bees can lay eggs, but because worker bees do not have fully mature reproductive organs and do not mate, they can only lay unfertilized eggs, which is what becomes the drones. And if you end up with a laying worker, or usually you actually have multiple laying workers, then they start to give off a pheromone scent similar to a queen and it may not be possible to requeen the colony. So you really end up with a situation of having to shake those bees out in front of the hive, in front of another hive and let them join another hive because once you get a laying worker, the hive is kind of a lost cause. They won't accept a new queen and they will never be able to lay worker bees. Looking down inside here to see if I see a queen, and I am not. And this, by the way, we're back to our original frame that had the queen cells on it. All right, but did not see a queen in here. So we'll put these frames back now. So the one good thing I can say is the bees are storing up nectar, but I'm a little uh, frustrated and concerned about those cells that we found. I think it's likely that we may have the start of a laying worker here. So we may take this colony and combine them with another. I'll give them another couple weeks and then we'll check back. By that time, I may be able to determine for certain whether or not we have a queen in here. One thing I do want to look at that can help to determine if it's a laying worker situation is looking in those cells for eggs and see if uh, we can see multiple eggs in a given cell. So I'm going to see if I can see eggs. Oh, we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll check back here in a couple weeks and check on the state of things. So we kind of have a mixed bag from these inspections. We had uh, one queen that appears that she emerged, but I couldn't spot her even in a small number of bees. Uh, we have the second queen that emerged and I saw her running around inside of the hive in that nucleus colony. So that was good news. And then we have the third ones that, uh, who knows, the queen cells that I put in there are gone. And so don't know if they emerged or were just disassembled, but we do have a potential laying worker situation in there. Now with the history of this hive having tried to raise a queen before, having tried to combine with a swarm and then having that queen take off and then giving them these last cells, it's possible that they have a queen in there. I just didn't see her and they have a pretty good population of bees. But I'm still a little puzzled as to why they have that queen cell in there or queen cup, I should say. It's almost built out to a full cell. It looks like they're ready for a queen to lay an egg in there to make a supersedure queen, a replacement queen. If they do have a queen, I'm not sure why they're making the cell, unless they just think she's uh, substandard. If they don't have a queen, then there's no hope of making a queen. Those drone cells and, and all the work going on on that frame kind of concern me. So we're going to keep an eye on them. We'll check back in a couple weeks. And at that point, if they just have a lot of drone brood and nothing else, then we can pretty much say that they just have a laying worker. But we'll be able to assess it better in a couple weeks. Hopefully, by some chance, they have a virgin queen who just isn't mated yet. We'll see how it goes. I do appreciate you coming along to check this out with me. I hope that you'll check out this other video that Google has chosen for you, or check out my beekeeping playlist to see other videos about my hives. Thanks a lot for watching.
I'll see you next time.